Hey, what's up guys? Briar Rabbit here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the new Call of Duty game. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Eric Hirschberg, the Activision Publishing CEO, announced that there's going to be a new Call of Duty game, that it's going to be coming out in Q4 of 2013. Uh, not real surprising details here, but he also said that he expects lower than lower sales than previous games, which is concerning. And he said the lower sales would be caused by the challenge global economy, which we all know and feel, and the ongoing console transition. This is uh, pretty strange stuff, right? It's kind of weird that we don't know about the new Call of Duty game yet. I'm going to call this game COD 10, just for clarity's sake. It's, it's concerning that we don't know much about COD 10 yet. Uh, the game theoretically has been in development by Infinity Ward, uh, Raven, and Sledgehammer Games for a, over a year now, about a year and three or four months since Modern Warfare 3 was released. It's, it's strange that we don't know anything about this game. We should know something. Based on you know what we knew about Black Ops and when we knew it, what we knew about Modern Warfare 3 and when we knew it, we should have some details on this game. We don't know much of anything. We also don't know what consoles it's going to come out on. We can be relatively sure that it'll come out on the current generation of consoles, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, but we have no idea if this thing's gonna come out on the new consoles, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720. And that is, that's kind of concerning. I, I think that it will come out on the new consoles, but I truly believe that the lead platform is still gonna be the older consoles. So the Xbox 360 is still gonna be the console that the game is specifically designed to run on. Uh, this, is, this will be done for a number of reasons. Uh, one is that the new consoles haven't been around for the entire uh, length of development. The Xbox 360 still has the largest installed base of all the current generation uh, consoles. They want to sell copies of this thing, and they want to sell a lot of copies, but there's this new console transition that's happening. So I do think that the game will come out on the Xbox 720 and the PS4, but I don't think it's gonna be designed for those two consoles. I think it's just gonna be uh, up versions of the current games. And my my worry is, is this gonna like fragment the user base? Is the multiplayer, uh, are the multiplayer lobbies gonna have fewer people in them because they're gonna be fragmented among four different versions of the game, right? So right now we have two fragmentations, three fragmentations, right? Or even four if you think about the Wii U. We have the Wii U version, we have the Xbox 360 version, we have the PlayStation 4 ver th 3 version, and we have the PC version. Now, none of these consoles talk to each other, so if I'm playing on a PS4 and you're playing an X Xbox 360, these can't talk to each other. So we have this fragmentation of the user base for the multiplayer content. And that sucks, you know? It'd be nice if everybody could just play together. Hopefully that's something that'll happen on the new consoles, but I doubt it. PlayStation and Xbox have no interest in working together on this. They want to be, you know, your primary game space. They do not want you to be able to, if you want to play with your friends, they want you to buy their console or they want your friends to buy that console. So that's concerning, right? It stinks. It's going to further fragment that user base and that's not going to be good for anybody. Also, there, there's no way that this thing's going to come out as a with the 720 as a lead platform or the PS4 as a lead platform. These things are going to be designed with the 360 in mind as the you know the base platform because that's where they're still going to hold, sell the most copies for. So that makes sense, right? Is you have to you have to sell the best version on the game in the place that you're going to sell the most copies. That's why the PS3 version has always been hamstrung so badly with Call of Duty is because they developed for the 360 and then they port it to the PS3. So the PS3 gets this not as good port as the Xbox 360 always does. And that's a real shame, but financially, they kind of have to do it. They don't really have a choice. They have to focus their efforts on the place that they're going to sell the most copies. And that is definitely the 360 now, and it's definitely going to be the 360 ne next year or in two fall 2013. You're, there's no way they're going to sell enough consoles to make that be their lead platform for development. It's just not going to happen. Hopefully, in 2014, that will happen, but even then, I kind of doubt it. You know, it takes years and years. The Xbox has been around for like seven years. Same with the PlayStation 3. These have a huge installed base. Any game you release has that potential number of copies that they could sell. Uh, even if they sell, let's say they sell 
three million uh, place or Xbox 720s this fall for the Christmas season. Out of that three million, you know, let's say half of those people buy Call of Duty 10. Well, that's only that's only you know uh, 1.5 million copies where they're selling a lot more than that on the current generation. So it just doesn't make sense to develop this thing for the current the next generation of consoles when their lead platform when they're selling the most on the current generation of platforms it's just not going to happen and that's sad you know hopefully by the time the 2014 cod comes out that'll be different but i think that activision is going to see a lot of new competition specifically from the old infinity ward guys uh they're going to be coming out with a new game soon and i suspect that it's going to be for the new consoles It'd be awesome if that was a release day game, so it actually came out the same day as the new consoles. That would really, that would really light a fire under Activision's butts, I bet, to get those Infinity Ward guys with a brand new game, you know, up there with Modern Warfare 2 as far as the engine goes. Hopefully with a little more support, though. Modern Warfare 2 had awful support, really set a low bar in the series as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and, you know, we'll see. We'll see about that. So that's about all I got for today. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and in just a moment here, you'll see a couple of videos on the left-hand side, my gaming setup video. I go over, uh, I have a couple of gaming setups in the house. I go over kind of what I got in them, what I use them for. And on the right, a video with a channel update, you know, just some recent news that's been happening here. Uh, just some fun stuff, actually. So check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.